What is going on, Grey Gang? This week I've got um, what I think is called a Pokemon treasure box. Um, just first impressions. I mean, I don't think it's an official product, but just the wrapping already kind of feels like repackaged in a way. Like it's really thin. Um, but apparently it comes with uh, seven um, booster packs three promo cards, um, a Pokemon coin, some stickers, and a notebook. Um, I'm not really too sure what to make of it, um, but let's go ahead, let's open it up. Let's kinda see over again, see if it was uh, worth the buy. It cost me, um, I think, $40. Um, so I mean, ideally you'd think it was a good price, but uh, let's uh, dive into it and see if that's actually the case. So, not bad packaging kind of kind of cool um oh wow so try not to mess with the camera too much so this is how it comes um ugh, check out this coin here pretty cool not bad definitely like ooh, a lot cheaper feeling than most coins but uh okay um Three promo cards, not even like properly packaged or anything, just shoved in here, eh? Jesus. So Rowlet promo card. A Oshawott promo card, which is actually pretty nice. Not bad. They're in decent condition considering. And Good old Cyndaquil, always a huge fire fan. It's a nice card. Let's see, and look at the packaging on that. There, hopefully there's more in here than just that, because what a waste of packaging. Uh, I think I see a couple more things in there. Let's get her open. Definitely mostly a waste of packaging, but Right. Comes with sticker sheet. Looks pretty cool. Another sticker sheet. Another sticker sheet. One more. And a little notebook. You can jot stuff down in. Not bad. Kind of cool. Okay. So let's check out what packs they actually gave us. Let's see what we got. So the box shows, where is it here? Box shows um, two billion stars, a fusion strike, an evolving skies, and three battle styles. I wasn't necessarily expecting to get like the best packs out of it, but uh, let's see what we got. So vivid voltage, not bad. A Brilliant Stars, another Vivid Voltage, cool. Another Brilliant Stars, did get the Evolving Skies, so that's nice. A Fusion Strike, and another Vivid Voltage, so definitely nice on that. The packaging is a little strange. Seems a little bit looser than normal, but nothing that sticks out too much. Um, let's go ahead, open them up, let's see what they get. It is, they are like a little bit loose, which is pretty weird, but... Let's go ahead, open them up. Um, I'm sure we'll find out once we get them all open, whether or not something funny is going on. Code card for y'all. Let's get this zoomed down a little bit better. Okay, Fire Energy, Simiseer, good colors on that, Cross Seaver, Sligu, Mankey, Clauncher, Growlithe, Stuffle, Sigilith, a Reverse Hollow Vullaby and an Electros 
non-hollow. Next up, Brilliant Stars. It's nice that we didn't get any of those battle styles. Like, that was the only thing I was thinking would suck, like, to get three battle styles packs. Not really, like, <laughs> the pack I'm looking for or anything like that, so... Um, nice to see that replaced by Vivid Voltage. I'm definitely okay with that. But if we didn't get like one hit in all these packs, oh my lord. Um, energy. Hunting Gloves. Weevil. Fracture. Star You. Burmy. Sock. Ruby, Riolu, whoa, and an Urshifu V Max. That is nice. Not bad for the first hit, and an Infernape Hollow. Not bad. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Third pack, another Brilliant Stars. Hopefully we can follow that up. I'd like to get a hit off these Vivid Voltage. I don't really think I've gotten a decent hit from any Vivid Voltage that I've opened yet, so it would be nice to get one for once. We star Cafe Master. A Gabite. Grottle, Clefairy, Cheruby, Sock, Corfish, Gullet, a Reverse Hollow Clay Doll, and a Star Star Raptor Star Raptor Rare Non Hollow. See, this is the one. This one feels like really loose for some reason which is strange first vivid voltage and like especially with the unofficial product i mean who knows if they're like weighing the packs and then just putting the uh the lighter ones in these boxes um, but who knows? I mean, tell me what you guys think in the comments. I mean, do you think it's a repackaged one? Do you think they would mess with it? I mean, I don't, it doesn't look like an official Pokemon product, but, uh, I'm not really too sure, so. Code card. Energy. Sableye. Galvantula. A go goat, a whooper, the Denny, the Dini, however you say it, a pick a peck, a choodle, a Riolu, a reverse hollow milsery, and a fortress non hollow rare. Same with this one. Feels like when do you when do you see uh, uh, a non-open package do that? Like usually they're they're right tight on those cards. So it's a little little fishy as far as I'm concerned. I mean at least we did get the one V Max hit so far. If we get one more, I mean I might feel a little bit better. Code card. about them not being like messed with, but I don't often see card packs, the, the packaging being that loose. Energy, Heroes Metal, Stung, Stunfisk, Sableye, Woobat, Talo. See, that's the other thing, look at that. Card upside down, little strange, Charmander, Wooper, Meowth, a Reverse Hollow Delmise, and a Non-Hollow Alchemy Rare. 
two packs left. Kind of losing a little bit of faith in this. This one's not as loose, but still a little weird. Luckily, looking at the evolution, look, there's a good comparison, look. So, look how loose this packaging is compared to how loose the Evolving Skies packaging is. Like, the Evolving Skies is, like, tight side to side. This one is just, it just feels loose. I don't know what it is. Ever, actually, every Vivid Voltage one felt loose. So... Code card. I don't know if I flipped this over or backwards or not. Yeah, I did. Figured as much. Energy. Matang. Mighty Yina. Beauty. Chimeco. Chimecho. Ninkata. Voltorb, a Rock Ruff, a Whismer, a Reverse Hollow Charizard. Nice. Not really sh sure how good it is. And a Hollow Regirock. Not bad. I don't think I've seen that Charizard before. I don't think it's super amazing or anything, but nice. Nice nonetheless. And last but not least, the Evolving Skies pack. So, um, with uh, Crown, or Crown Zenith coming out, we're gonna have a lot of stuff coming up um, with them. Um, gonna get one of the premium boxes um, and probably the Elite Trainer box. So definitely check out um, or stay tuned for those make sure you hit that subscribe that like button comment down below anything you want i try to get back to pretty much everybody so uh energy treasure energy digging glove or gloves palpitode c dot woobat Eevee, Timpole, Cutie Fly, a Reverse Hollow Dino, or Dino, who knows, and a Trevenant V. Not bad to finish her off. I don't have too many hits for Evolving Skies, but uh, not bad. Definitely the. Uh, V Max would be the highlight of the video, I think, and pretty nice card. So uh, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, turn notifications on, um, leave me some comments about what you think you what you'd like me to see me open. If you want me to do booster boxes, um, elite trainer packs, whatever you want, um, and uh, definitely some great new things going to be coming this year. Um, including kind of how I film the videos. We're going to do a little bit differently. But, uh, yeah, stay tuned, and uh, we'll see you next week, everybody.